Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with an unboxing video from the lovely Heidi, Pan or well, lovely and talented Heidi Blankenship. She had a sale um, last month in her bead group, and I got the beads the other day, but I, this is the first chance I'm getting to um, get them open. I think Heidi's favorite color is also turquoise, so her packaging is always on point. I love 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 opening a package from her <laughs> so let's dig in um i got a lot of halloween stuff so and today's day oh my goodness five of my bead i'm sorry my bracelet challenge my 30-day bracelet challenge so maybe there's something in here that we can make into a bracelet the other thing is i made a video of my last haul from her and never published it because i paused to go make a bracelet and then never did it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this and then I'm going to um, splice in that video and then I'm gonna come back and make a bracelet using this stuff so in that video I said I was gonna make a bracelet and I did but I did it off camera and I didn't love it not because of her beads but because of the, ch the choices I made <laughs> so that bracelets being reworked maybe someday I'll get back to it but anyway sorry for talking your ear off um, so that's the the flow of our little our little video today um, okay yeah we've got some really cute a uh, really cute organza bag here okay so here's Heidi's card here's her information if you want to get in contact with her she has her sales in this group right here handmade by Heidi event sales group um, and then she sent some candy Ooh, we've got some Skittles because it's Halloween and some chocolate those are getting eaten tonight for sure <laughs> So I don't even remember what I ordered. I just was like, oh, I have to have them. I have to have them. So, oh gosh, these are so cute. Okay, so we'll start with these little um, witches. Let's see if I can get my light in there a little better. Okay. Aren't those cute? And then there's like a, um, sorry, my nails, my nails are so dirty. I've been doing crafts and when I wear makeup, I get it under my nails all the time. It's just so hard to keep them clean. Okay, so she uh, patterned the back and used little witches. These are so cute. They would be great for earrings if I wore earrings, but these are um, artisan beads and I, I don't usually use those in earrings because I can't wear them. Um, which, what's this? Oh my gosh, look at this. She made like a whole like storybook on one bead isn't that amazing a ghost with a haunted house and a little moon and a little grass and she hand paints every single one of these my goodness that is cool that is so cool and i love the texture of the grass um i ordered some moons or some faces you know i had to get my hands on those so she textured the back but here's the front and then she used the opal clay so I got two of the opals, and I don't think I knew that they were opals, so that's kind of cool, seeing those in there. And then I got two of this little guy. Oh, he's got a little star on his cheek. That's super cute. I love that. So cute. Oh, this is cute. It's like a little Halloween mix that she included. So we have some gold wood beads. Um, I think these are yeah these are glass faceted beads black we've got a little cat you know I love those a little check cat um, a bumpy pearl some wood painted beads this is a cute little mix thank you Heidi I love that that's adorable maybe I can use those in conjunction with some of these beads to make a bracelet today we'll see And then um, I bought two lots of these pumpkins because I just thought they were so cool. Of course, she included regu the regular orange pumpkin, orange and black. And there's also a pumpkin on the back. But she made white. And she made turquoise. Oh, my goodness. I love the turquoise pumpkin. That's so cute. Those are great. I love those. And then this was like a big mix lot. And then I ended up getting some. So there are some of the beads that I've shown here in here. So let me open this up. And I'll dump it out and we'll go through it. So we've got the witch. 
Yeah, yeah, there's two witches, two turquoise pumpkins, two orange pumpkins, two, um, two white pumpkins. Well, oh yeah, two white pumpkins. And so I'll put those back in the bag. And then we've got some acorns. Look how cute those are. That is so sweet. And then we've got some spiders. I know I got some Halloween uh, beads from her last year. I'm gonna have to go through my my um, Heidi case and see see what we have. Um, and then we have these. I love these. These are some of my favorite beads of hers. Love getting those. And then um, we have another one of these, which is awesome. So I can use one on a bracelet and I can use one on a necklace if I wanted to. And then look at the owl. Oh my goodness, and he's got little um, rhinestone eyes and a textured back. That is so cool. And I actually got an extra owl too. And then we have some skulls with rhinestone eyes. Those are cool, they're a little creepy, but they're so cool. We've got two marbled beads in black, purple, and green, and white, and like some glitter. Two moons. So I have some extra ones. I like to get the extras because you know me and hoarding. If I don't have extras, then I'm not going to use them. And then two leaves. These are awesome, multicolor. I like that she included turquoise and purple in there. I'm not a huge fan of just the, the regular fall colors. Ooh, what was my favorite? Okay, so my favorites were this bead for sure and the the owl just love them so much and the turquoise pumpkins um okay so right here i'm going to insert the haul that i got from her earlier this year in her other sale and then i'll come back don't listen to me i'm not going to make jewelry with those beads but i'm going to make jewelry with these beads when we come back um look how cute that is she always sends them in a cute like little organza bag here's heidi's information in case you're interested, I will leave links to her Facebook page and her Facebook group below where she has her actual um, sales are is in the event sales group. So here's her information. And then let's see what we got. So Heidi makes artisan beads out of polymer clay. And um, she and I met through YouTube, but she's just the sweetest, sweetest lady on the planet. So um, first of all, these are awesome get a different background because it looks like I have a lot of blue and I don't want a blue background so um, let's see here look at these so they look like little pebbles like little they also look like um, candy like that mint candy so they look like sea glass they just look all like all sorts of different things and I just love them and Heidi has her own um, I dropped one, I need to pick it up before Goldie thinks it's food. But um, Heidi has her own box of beads in my, actually she has two, she has a drawer and a box in my organization. Um, I lost, oh there it is. Goldie started running towards it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll show you kind of how I organize her stuff once we're finished. Um, and then these are like barnacle beads. Aren't those so cool? She worked for hours on these. She has to roll every single bead and then she has to distress it and then she has to roll these little tiny beads to, to make the barnacle part. Oh my goodness. These are so cool. No, nope, you're never gonna find these anywhere else. Also, I don't know where the hole is. <laughs> I have no idea. Where the whole, oh, there it is, there it is. So there we go, so I got a bunch of those. I think they're so awesome. And then I got some bigger of like the faux sea glass. These are, are these pendants or beads? I can't remember, they're pendants. These are very cool, oh, they're so soft. They're so smooth, I love them. She does such a good job. And every single bead is so amazing. Like she never skimps on the work, you know? Then we have a couple barrels or cylinders. Aren't those cool? Obviously I went nuts because it was all sea theme stuff. <laughs> she does great sea theme stuff. She does great everything. Um, if you want there, you can just search probably Heidi in my um, past videos and you'll see all the wonderful stuff she's made. 
Oh, so this is like a little gift. So let's see what's in here. Oh my goodness. So we have some bone beads. I actually think I have these, but I will always take more because they're some of my favorite bone beads. And then we have, oh, two teeny tiny uh, dragonfly wings. Those are cute. Let's see if we can, there we go. And then we have some teeny tiny pearls. Oops. Cute little mix, Heidi. And then we have some crystals. And some fire polish, teeny tiny fire polish beads too. Here we go. Oh, and I dropped one. That's gonna go into the bead soup when I pick it up later. <laughs> and then we have two tiny turtles, so cute. Adorable. And then look at these little shells. These are so sweet. Wow, those are cool. I don't have any shells that are that shape in the shape of beads or any beads that are in this shape, I should say. That's so cool. And then we have some mother of pearl shell beads. Some glass, those look like check, check glass barrels, maybe. And then we have some more fire polish. Oop. And then we have some like mermaid glass beads. So I'm super pumped about those. I think the darker green were check glass drucks, but these are all so fun. beautiful mix just a beautiful mix thank you for including that Heidi that's very sweet of you love it and it matches like everything that I bought too so ooh, she also sent candy yummy <laughs> and then um, there are a couple more things in here so we have some turquoise um, stamped beads these are so awesome I love that they're kind of translucent you can see see some light coming through them so fun so fun and I love that they're matte I just love that they're translucent that's so cool um, and then the last two are gonna be my favorite these shells these actually go really really well with some um, check shells that I bought from bargain bead box so I'm super excited I want to use these together <gasps> these are so pretty these are so pretty. If I could be a bead today, it would be this bead. These make me so happy. Like I want to cry. <laughs> like how silly is that? <laughs> but I, I'm a, I'm, I love beads. I don't think you guys could have watched any video on my channel without knowing I love beads. And then last but certainly not least, we have some starfish beads. She paints, hand paints every single one of these beads. Isn't that amazing? She used some gold foil and some gold leaf paint. Gosh, I just feel so lucky that I can get my hands on personal artwork. That's what it is. It's mini artwork. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Okay, so here's my case of Heidi beads. Um, the beads that you just saw are still in a pile uh, on my desk underneath some other beads that I haven't used too. So hopefully I'm on vacation. Today was the first day of vacation. Um, uh, hopefully I get this, this room together. That is my goal this weekend. I'm sorry this week um, and hopefully I'll unearth those beads and get them in their proper space but um, I was looking and here we have spider beads from last year I honestly can't remember what I made last year from her beads I'm gonna have to go hunting because I think I made some really cool earrings but uh, they're not in here <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my um, new beads in here and then we'll make something so I think there's a spot open over here let's see what's going on i think we can move these guys in with the turtles at the top there's lots of room in here um i'm gonna move these beads my goodness there's a lot going on i think i'm gonna move those over here and then we're gonna use some of these spots for halloween so put the put our, our focal like our big focals in that one and 
Um, I'm thinking our spookies are going to go in here with the spiders and our witches along with the spiders. And then I think I'm going to put all my pumpkins in this one. And then we have, so did she have two different spiders? She did. So this was last year's spider and this was this year's spider. So one's a little bit more 3D. Oh, one goes in and one comes out. That is awesome. All right. And then I have more of these sunflowers over here. So that'll go in there. Pumpkin. And then moon faces aren't really like Halloween-y, but um, where could I put them? Uh, I'll just put them. These guys can, I know they're not beachy. I don't know where I can move these. move these in those and our moons can go here spookies and then do I have some that are just swirled not really but I mean these are close enough over here uh, actually these can go just over here with Halloween and then we have some fall like fall leaves and the acorns so tilt this up. I have some brown leaves up here that those will go with. So I like that. Put this guy in here. I got a lot of these pumpkins. I'm excited about it. <laughs> but the thing I'm noticing is the drill is up and down like it should be for an earring, but for an, a bracelet, I kind of want it to go side to side. So I got to think about what I want to do there. I need another box soon. Well, I have one in the wings. Let's see what Heidi comes up with for Christmas. Okay, I think I have enough pumpkins. <laughs> okay. Um, I kind of, I don't know what I want to do for this bracelet. I got to think about it. my turquoise pumpkins because hello I haven't done any turquoise Halloween jewelry yet so I'm gonna do something with these you know me and my threes I can grab more if I need to um, I love this guy I want to do something maybe we'll make a couple bracelets something with that the, the spooky guy and possibly something with our Haunted house. Mm. I think that's that's good. I'll figure out something to do with those. Maybe maybe one of the white pumpkins with with the skull. No. I think I'm gonna use that as a focal and then we'll we'll incorporate other beads. All right, so let me take this out and I will be back. Oh, before I forget, this is the bracelet I ended up making with her last um, bead haul that I got and I love the bracelet. I just, it's not as nice as it, because this is the first time I did this technique and I learned it from looking at like some blog which I don't even remember where it is so it was my first it was kind of like very it's not as smooth as I wanted it to be so I didn't film it and I wanted to just kind of learn and then um, I adapted it to um, do do one like this instead of just you know the herringbone look and then I put some little pearls that were in her kit and these are actually her beads they're not glass they look like glass but I love the bracelet I haven't worn it because I've buried it and then I forgot I made it <laughs> but I wanted to show you it so thank you Heidi I love these beads all right now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these okay so here's what I've like unearthed <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do I think I'm gonna put this guy aside for now because I haven't decided what I want to do with that yet but and I might have ruined one of my turquoise beads trying to figure out if I could drill a hole sideways. But good news is I can, and I did in these three beads. So I can either use them like this, or I can use them like this. But 
now they all have secondary holes. Um, so I think I'm gonna make two different bracelets, one with the turquoise pumpkins, and I got out some um, charcoal African beads, uh, African glass beads. I got out some Z evil eye beads, um, some Picasso jet, uh, Jack Picasso Mayukis, um, some Stardust spacers and Crystal Rondell spacers. Those are more for the bracelet that I'm going to go for for this guy, I think. So, um, and then I got these out and these for this guy. And um, I'm kind of cheating because I haven't done this unboxing yet, but it was like hanging half in, half out of the paper packaging from bead chest. So it's not cheating if I get, it, it was hanging out. And I got these Java glass beads that I think are absolutely stunning. And I think that we're gonna incorporate those. Um, I also have some of these from um, that recent haul. So we'll see, we'll see what, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna open up some bead strands. We'll just wing it like we usually do. Um, I, look, I know a little bit more of what I wanna go with for this guy, so I think I'm gonna start there. So I know I wanna use some of these, which yes, I know I used in one Halloween bracelet, but they're my beads. I'll use them how I want. <laughs> and um, I like these. I don't remember where the heck they came from, but they, they're begging me to use them. Um, and then I'm gonna open up the, I know I'm gonna use some of these. Which they weren't my favorite, but now I really like them for this project. Like when I got them, I was like, oh yeah, those are nice, but they weren't like, oh, I need to buy more so I can use them. Like, no, I'm fine just using these. So, um, I obviously didn't cut that well enough. There we go. And possibly some of these. And uh, I'm gonna spill out a couple of these to get that shimmer in from, to, you know, kind of bring the shimmer in from his eyes. And possibly some of these. Oops. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't, what stringy material am I going to use here? Am I going to use stretch cord? I was thinking about using this pleather that I got from Beta uh, Halik. And that's why I wanted to make sure the holes were big enough in the beads. Because I don't think, yeah, these beads, these are, this is one millimeter leather and the holes that um, Heidi includes is more towards stringing or... Um, um, like ear wires and stuff like that, head pins. Well, you can see I drilled that at a little bit of an angle, but that's kind of cool. It kind of makes it a little funky. Um, I think we're going to use, I think we're going to use this. I have one button left. It's in here somewhere, hopefully. Oh, here he is. Cute. So do I want to put it with that? I think we should use the button. I don't know. Well, I like it better with the with our um, skeleton. It makes more sense, I think. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna lay out my design. I don't know how I want the bracelet to go. Like, I don't know how I want to string it yet, but we'll, we'll get to that point. Um, I kind of want this guy to be uh, in the middle.
So Goldie does this thing where she constantly like smacks her mouth, like her lips and swallows and it drives me crazy and it's that she's doing it right now and I'm trying not to lose my mind I can't I like can't focus on this bracelet because she's she's decided to park herself right next to me all right Liking where this is going. Ooh, those are really nice big holes. Uh, and once they're off of the strand, well, I guess that there's some that are just a lot bigger. Okay. That's okay. To get some of the dustiness like not the dustiness but the charcoalness of this guy in between uh, with the sparkly I think it brings that all in I like that Okay, so I think I do want to string this on leather. The issue I'm having is several of these beads won't fit through double the, the cord won't fit through twice. So I'm just kind of thinking about how I'm going to finish it off. So I really wasn't, I was making it way too hard. I'm not even going to do um, a barrel knot. Like lately I just, I love how they look. I just don't like doing them and maybe since I'm on vacation I will practice more it's just like it's not that I forgot how to do them I just don't I just don't like doing them so I want to make sure that my button will fit through a loop just gonna eyeball it and I need to cut a length off of here it will be way too long but that's what I do. Okay. Just make a knot. And then I just want to make sure that this um, loop will allow my button to sail through it without it being too loose. Here we go. I love this. Isn't that pretty? 
my gosh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> it's making me giggle because I like it so much. <laughs> This may be too many beads now that I've loaded extra beads on. It looked like it would be too short, but I will measure against my wrist. so cute actually we're doing well it's because these beads are so chunky that I need to add some extra length so I'm gonna put one more bead on and then we're gonna double check that length yep, that's perfect and then I'm going to put on my button I don't know if this is the right way to string that on like to get them to face the way I want them to face but oh well <laughs> um, and then I'll just do a little maybe a a um, barrel knot here something resembling a barrel knot I should say get as much of this length like off as I can I don't want it, the bracelet to be too loose so it's a little big I had to end up um, taking off one of the beads and I just you know there's some room around um, the bracelet so the beads are able to move around and not just be really super tight on my wrist um, I'm gonna grab some GS hypo cement and dab both knots Ooh. And then this is that pleather cord so you can like cut it and then like singe it and it won't and it'll like kind of melt in place if you don't have glue or you'd rather just do that instead of using the glue um, I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and then I'll snip and then we're gonna work on our second bracelet so I want these three to be the center um, I was kind of playing around with these as well which I don't know. I don't know. Do I want to go that route or do I want to go evil eye route? That's a lot of pattern, I feel like. But, like, this is a lot of pattern, too. I just think in a different way. Uh, I think those will detract from this for some reason. But I do like those little guys being right next to that. Maybe I'll just make this one a stretch bracelet. Because I don't have another skull button. I don't have, like, a pumpkin button or anything. But I do have some black elect elasticity so I think that's what we're gonna do with this guy and I can't decide if I want to use the Java beads yeah I want to use the Java beads I think it's funny like I was I love them because they're the right color but like right when I got them I was like mm, those aren't as great as I like because I was thinking um, recycled African glass beads and like the you know rough texture that those are which these have it but you can tell these are much more like sculpted to be this way they're they're not like free form like they cut these to be like this or, or mold them to be like this so I just wasn't feeling them as much as my recycled African glass but now that I'm looking at them they're like completely different beads I'm cool with it 
we're good to go. Um, yeah, this one's gonna be super, super duper simple, but I think it's gonna be super cute because then the focus is for sure gonna be the turquoise pumpkins instead of everything else going on. But I can also stack these bracelets if I want because they have all the same colors. Some of these, these are not very uniform sh uh, sizes, so I'm kind of like pulling, pulling them together here. And I want to get some of the silver in here. Problem is, I only have four left. One, two, three, four, which would be fine, but I was thinking about doing another um, set of black in the back. Oh well. Alright, so let's start stringing it. This is what I'm using one millimeter. Making sure to put all of those pumpkins facing the right way. <laughs> I don't want to have one pumpkin upside down versus the other two, or vice versa. Um, okay. So I am going to cut off my elastic cord and I'm going to pre-stretch. Somebody asked me if I'm stretching, when I'm stretching like this, am I afraid that my beads are gonna go flying. Mm, not really. I've it's it's happened, <laughs> and the, what'll happen is it's because the stretch cord was compromised in some way, um, whether it was cut or just weak in an area. But sometimes, like I've learned to not use like really sharp beads with elastic cord, which this is kind of pushing it because these are kind of sharp. But like crystals, sometimes you got to be real careful with crystals on elastic cord because they will cut it. And the last bracelet that I can remember popping like that while I was making it was a bracelet um, with crystals on it and I just walked away. <laughs> I left the beads on the floor. They, I was still in my apartment and uh, I walked away and came back 20 minutes later to pick them up or the next day or something, I can't remember, but they were all over and they were like up against my front door. I was like, nope. And that bracelet never got made <laughs> because it was just, just what happens sometimes. Okay, so I'm just going to triple, the, triple knot. So one, and this one is a little bit longer because the beads are bigger. I know you guys are probably sick of me saying that. Two, three, my glue. Oops, got it right on my bead. I'll get that all over that knot. Don't worry, I can get it off the bead. We'll trim this guy. All right, once that's super dry, come in with a little like candle lighter and melt the ends of those together so they're not going anywhere. So there's bracelet number one which I am, I just adore. I adore. I know these look so similar, but the pattern is slightly different and we just have different elements in the way that they were made. So we've got our skull with our skull button. 
super cute and it's not like majorly Halloween-y so I could wear this throughout the rest of the year and then this one obviously is Halloween <laughs> we've got our little jack-o-lanterns but they're so stinking cute that's the perfect aqua um, Heidi did such a fantastic job don't forget to check out her Facebook group so you can be included in the communications for her next sale isn't that adorable okay so I gotta put them on but yeah that's real comfortable and we'll put this one on hey here's our results with our little button and our skull and our pumpkins and they're just so cute together and now I feel like I have to buy more of these because I need a black and white and gray and silver necklace maybe not with pumpkins or um skulls but i'm thinking like this with these beads and maybe the polka dot beads or something oh now i'm gonna have to get more of these because this is all that's left my goodness okay well or maybe i might have these this color and a different type of bead so thank you so much for watching thank you to heidi for making such beautiful beads i'm gonna wear these tomorrow while i'm hanging out with julie and um thank you for watching please like subscribe and share and stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye. Hi, did you miss your mom? Hi, bud. You excited? You excited to see me? Oh, you don't have to cry. Hi, baby. Oh, I missed you too. Yes, I missed you too. Hi, cutie. Oh, yeah, you like that. Yeah, good girl.